This is a public service announcement. If you want to avoid the next few minutes of pure comedy gold, then skip to the time shown on the screen to get straight to the review. Almost. Well, it's that time of year again when we are plagued with flies and bugs and such like. You know, you only have to open your windows or your doors in the summer and in they fly. And they do not have the ability to find the way back out. So how do we dispense with these little terrors? Well, there are several methods. First, we have the traditional fly swatter. All well and good, but it does result in a lot of splattage, which isn't very nice to, to have to clean up after. We also have then the fly spray. Horrible stuff, you can't spray it around anywhere near food or drinks. And it does mean the fly is going to have a lingering and painful death. Which you may or may not be bothered about, I don't know. Next, we have the fly paper. Oh, horrible stuff again. Who really wants to have rolls of paper hanging down inside your house or in your garden? And again, not a very pleasant end for the flies. We're getting a little bit more uh, interesting now. We also have the electrified tennis bat kind of thing which operates from a battery when you press the battery and swat the uh, fly in the air gives it an electric shock and hopefully kills it instantly a lot, lot more harder in practice to do that because as you know flies do have this uh, ability to dodge out the way of things when you're trying to swat them in the air and uh, if you value your ornaments in your house as well that probably isn't the best way to go Last but one, we have our very own Audrey. Feed me Seymour. Is that, how, is that how it goes in the film? Little Shop of Horrors? Well, we've got our very own Audrey, which I have to say, um, as far as catching flies goes, it's pretty shit. Um, it hasn't caught one yet. Um, it's supposed to attract them to their leaves. Hasn't happened. I've fed it a couple of times. I've come down and found some flies that are on their last legs. So I have dropped them into the jaws of death snapshot. Again, not a very pleasant way for the fly to go because they are then digested alive. Well, since filming this video, Audrey has indeed started to earn her keep. I managed to capture this moment with my mobile phone. Here it goes, ready. It's nearly there. And... Oosh! Got you. What a grisly, grisly way to go. Well, Audrey's doing what Audrey's designed to do, but the kill ratio is still very low. So, what are we going to use to kill flies effectively and is also an awful lot of fun? Stick around to find out. So what geek? So what geek? So what geek? So what geek reviews other things as well. Hello fellow watch fans and indeed anybody who has tuned in to look at this review, today's review, as you've seen from that rather long introduction, is of something a little bit different. It is the uh, best way, I think, to dispense with those flies. What is it? It is the bugger salt gun. So what is this exactly? Well, let's jump straight into the review. First things first, for any watch fans watching, uh, uh, today I am wearing my Amiga Seamaster Professional Diver 300 on my Zealand orange strap, which I've chosen because it matches the orange bits on the gun. There you go. That's enough about watches today. Today is all about the bug assault. Now, let's get into it then. This is the 
Bug Assault. Love that play on words. Excellent name. Really good. It is a pump action type shotgun. <laughs> Great already, isn't it? That uses concentrated jets of salt to dispense with any flies. This is the version 2.5 which is obviously better than any previous versions. There is a version 3, but according to the Bug Assault website, that may result in a bit of splattage as well. And I'm not really into splattage. So the V 2.5 apparently will kill the flies, but it leaves them intact, which is all well and good. So here's the box that it comes in then. Nicely packaged Bug Assault 2.5. It doesn't use batteries, it's pump action, very good. Um, so what do we have here? Improved sighting and accuracy, re-engineered, ordinary table salt, that's very good. Non-toxic, to toxic, it's easy for me to say, non-toxic, and the reservoir holds enough shots um, for 80, 80 shots. Let's quickly look at the back and on the back we have some information. We have some brief instructions, basically. Fill it with salt, pump the gun and fire. Simples. We have some fly facts. No one pities the fly. Very good. Uh, we have some FAQs. Is the gun dangerous? Well, I'll jump in there. This is a little bit more than a toy. OK, it does fire a concentrated jet of salt, which you do not want to be hit in the face with or the eyes because it will sting and possibly cause quite a bit more damage as well. So this is definitely a big boys toy for us big boys. And we do like guns and watches and cars and knives. Well, I don't like knives, but guns. Yeah. OK, so let's. I haven't actually opened this yet, so let me grab my scissors and let's snip the uh, retention straps, which is all very good. I'm not going to be... Oh, there we go. There. Okay, let's take it out. Ooh, let's get rid of that box. Now, on the top here, we have a little bit of information about uh, treat guns as loaded firearm at all time. Very sensible indeed. And finally, we have a couple of, uh, of little stickers here of some of the most weird looking flies. Uh, seems to have a pumpkin head there um, and some strange things coming out of its arse. Very weird, but all very good fun as well. Let's take those off. So here is the gun. Do you know what it feels? Feels, it's that lovely kind of quality plastic. That's really, really nice to hold. It really is. So let's see how easy it is to, to um, power it. Ooh, that's, that's quite hard to do actually. So you're obviously compressing the spring there, ready to fire. And when you cock it, the little rear sight pops up. So there is a safety on it as well. You pull the safety down, I believe, and then that's ready to fire. There's nothing in it. Wow. Blimey, that was quite a kick. I don't know what I was expecting, but that's, um, that was quite, uh, quite fierce, to be honest. So let's pump it again. See, the rear sight's gone down. Ooh. Pull it forward. Oh, you have to, looks like, you have to push the safety down every time as well. Yay! Wow, that feels good. Okay, well, I think the next step, obviously, is to put some salt in it and um, see how it performs. Now, I'm going to say now, first of all, I'm, I'm filming all this on the fly. I've not... Um, uh, on the fly. <laughs> uh, I've not prepared this video at all as you can probably tell um so uh yeah i'm just talking rubbish now um so we are gonna go <laughs> and um put some salt in oh that's what i was gonna say yes mm. there will be no killing of any real flies in this video not least because since i bought it we haven't had any flies come in 
So I have bought a uh, load of these little joke toy plastic flies that we all had as kids that you would put in somebody's sandwich or on their, in their salad and, uh, and had ooh, ooh, loads of fun. So I'm using those as a way to demonstrate the power and accuracy of the gun. So let's go. Okay, first things first, let's fill her up with some salt. Not quite sure what you do. Do you bang it to get it down? Oh, okay, okay, that's filling up. This, as I say, apparently is enough for about 80 shots. So let's just fill it to there, fold it down. Now, we're good to go. Well, we ain't gonna shoot no mother plastic flies. We're gonna shoot mother Good real flies, mother I got my GoPro 9 set up here on my gun, set up in super slow mo. So let's get mother shooting. I think I've just offended every American watching. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, the quoted effective range is up to three feet, but as you can see, they don't always go down with the first shot. Damn, mother. Well, there you go. There was a little demonstration of it in use. Uh, I have to say, I do love this. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. How much is this? Well, this, I am in the UK. So this is about as close to a real gun as we're, uh, as we're allowed these days, uh, unfortunately. Uh, this on the UK, uh, which I think is called thebugassault.co.uk, this version, 2.5 is 39.99 or 40 quid basically plus there is also six pounds 99 shipping so just under 47 pounds for this which is a lot of money to kill a few flies but the fun you will have using it definitely definitely it makes it worth it the v3 which as I've said is more powerful, but can result in a bit of splattage, is another 10 pounds. You can also upgrade and get a faux sort of laser sight on it as well, which I think is another 10 pounds, and there are different color combinations. I thought I would stick with the 40 pound one, simple as, to see how it goes. And um, I, I like it, I really do. I think I'm gonna have some fun with this over the uh, summer months. So um, what do you all think of that? Worth it? 40 quid? Yeah, it's a toy. It's a big boy's toy, as I've said. It's not a toy, it's a big boy's toy, but, oh, oh yes. Result, get in there. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will return to doing watch videos again soon. Um, as always, thank you for liking and subscribing. If you do wanna see um, other reviews of things as well other than watches please let me know if you'd prefer me to just stick to watches tell me that as well so until the next time watch fans and fly killers take care stay safe and i'll see you soon i hope this is in focus